It's coming up on a quarter to eight. This is BBC Radio Cumbria. Now, it's amazing to think how much history we have in our county and how certain areas are linked to things from history. Well, the reason I mention this is because this Thursday at St Mary's Church in Maryport, the town's links to the White Star Line and, indeed, the fated Titanic will be looked at. Uh, the night will be presented by Cliff Ismay, fourth cousin to Thomas Henry Ismay, founder of the White Star Line, fifth cousin to J. Bruce Ismay of Titanic fame. I'm pleased to say Cliff joins me on the phone now. Morning, Cliff. Good morning, Richard. Uh, let's look at your connections first. Qu- quite a line-up of family you've got there. Yes, so although I'm not directly descended from, from uh, Thomas and Bruce, our family is regarded as being his closest living relative, which still carries the Ismay surname. And th- there are connections to the Ismay family in the church at St Mary's as well, aren't there? Yes, so Thomas Henry was born in Maryport and he, he, he donated a lot to Maryport churches including St Mary's and Christ Church. In St Mary's in particular he donated a set of stained glass windows that were damaged through a storm. When he heard about it he immediately donated those also in Christ Church and then donated a clock by the harbour side so the sailors could see the time of day when entering and leaving the ports. Do many people know much about these connections? Not really, no, especially outside of Cumbria. Part of the reason for doing this is to highlight the connection with, with West Cumbria and Maryport in particular, and also to help funds, raise funds for St Mary's Church. I believe the Titanic was, was blessed as well from St Mary's, is that right? It will be on Thursday. Uh, Titanic, as far as we're aware, like the other White Star Line ships, were never blessed. They were never uh, christened when when being launched. It was never a formal event. So we can take what for, what we want from that. For me, it will be a way of um, putting at rest all those souls that died on that fateful evening. So what could people expect from the event on Thursday? So it begins at 7 o'clock with a talk from myself, uh, probably a slideshow slide presentation, which will last about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, then we'll uh, move on to the blessing of Titanic, after that a minute silence for, in respect to those that died. And then after that we're going to be followed by music with uh, Finger Buffet. So it should be quite an entertaining evening for anyone that can make it. We look forward to it. Cliff, thanks very much indeed for sparing the time to be with us and bringing us that uh, that story. If you want to find out more about those connections between Maryport and uh, the White Star Line and indeed the fated Titanic, uh, St Mary's Church in Maryport is where you need to be, 7 o'clock this Thursday. And I'll remind you of that in our church notice board in about half an hour's time.